Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul and it's some art supplies and some coloring stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and share what I got. So, um, let's see. The first thing here is this set of watercolor brushes. These are Neptune, I don't know. My husband picked these out for me. Um, they're very thirsty brushes, apparently. Uh, so it comes with an aqua, aquarelle. I don't know why that's so hard for my tongue to say. Three quarter inch, a round four, round twelve, and oval wash half inch. And these are my very first, like, nice watercolor brushes. Um, I have watercolor brushes. They're just not like super amazing and I don't think I really have any like wash watercolor like I don't I don't think I have any wash brushes maybe like really big ones but nothing like this that would be super convenient um and I really like the handle on this I don't know if there's a specific reason why this handle is different if anybody knows maybe it's like a different line and they just put, I don't know, I don't know. But if you know, I would like to know because it's really pretty and I kind of wish they all had that handle. But there's those, I'm super happy about that. Um, my husband went back to New York for a little bit and um, they have an art store there that's got like a lot of stuff and so he, he got me some good stuff. Um, I'm not gonna be opening any of the palettes today but I will show them to you. He got me this, it's the Royal Talons Shades of Nature Van Gogh. I don't know if is Van Gogh the brand or is Royal Talons the brand? I don't actually know. I think this might be the like line of paint is the Van Goghs. I'm not sure but they're watercolors and it comes with 12. And these are the colors that it comes with and it even comes with like a little travel brush which is so stinking cute um actually if i can slide this out fairly easily i will open it there we go oh, it's beautiful okay look how teensy weensy this brush is oh my gosh it's so skinny you guys in there and then all the paints look how neat they are they're all in like individual wrappings but then how do you like get that off oh they you have to pull them out okay okay i see but yes it's very cool i'm very happy with that i'm super excited just slip that back in there for now so i've got that one and then he also got me the metallics one which i'm super extra excited about because i don't own i don't think i do i don't think i own any metallic watercolors and then i mean i don't know why it's the same on the inside i don't know why I took that. does this come out i feel like it does oh is that what the little thing on the brush is for to like <gasps> it is that's genius you guys The little thing on the end of the brush you see that that's so you can like pop this out genius genius level brain stuff but yeah so there's that super cute I cannot wait to actually open these and um I don't know what so it looks like these are all these ones right here are kind of like earth tone ones and then these here looks like they're gonna be like kind of transparent like duochrome ones that are colorful very exciting i can i will definitely swatch these when i end up opening them so that you guys can see the beauteousness there's that one and then he got me this one which i picked this one out. Actually, I think I picked all three of these out. Well, he told me to like pick a bunch that I liked, but I didn't know which ones he got, so kind of a surprise, kind of not. <laughs> um, 
This one is the Koi watercolors. Um, this one has a specific name. I don't know. These are like the metallic ones. And I picked this, I picked it over FaceTime, so I couldn't like see a lot of the details. I thought these were just like regular watercolor colors. And to be perfectly honest, like I'm not disappointed, but I kind of still want a palette that's just these colors. Like regular, I don't know what you call them, matte watercolors. Um, but these are all specialty ones. So there are these ones, which are like fluorescent, which is, I guess, okay, I'm glad, I'm glad these colors are like still, I mean, they're not regular, but they're fluorescent, but they're not shiny is what I mean. The rest of these are shiny, but it's okay because these ones are all like earth tones and like clear based duochromes and these ones are all colorful. So I'm fine with having both. This one it looks like it comes with a water brush. Let me see if I can open this without like destroying it. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, here we go. There's that. <laughs> So here is the water brush, just a little space for it. There's the little spongies on the side. And those are the colors, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so exciting. They're so little, I didn't realize they were so little, but that's okay. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I can't wait. So there is that. Oh, well, that's totally smart to do that. Let's see, oh, there's like a little finger thing on the bottom. Is this a place to put? Put the paper there, maybe. Close that up. We're gonna move it off to the side, and then he got me a bunch of watercolor pads so he got me this one uh the brand i think is i think that's the brand is fluid cold press watercolor paper yada 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 i don't know i think you just picked random ones out Are th is this sealed on both sides though how do you get them out that seems I like maybe not the greatest plan there. I don't know how I feel about that. How am I supposed to get them out? This one too. This one's like literally the cover is sealed. Oh, I don't like that. Why is it doing that? Um. I'm gonna put something in there to like separate it. I don't know about that. But this is the same one. It's just a different size. Uh, so he got me the 4x6 and the 6x8. And then he got me this brand um, in 5x7. And then he got me the little trading card size ones. Very cute. And keeping with the artsy stuff, I've got these. I can't remember if I showed you guys these ones already. But these are folk art glitterific glitter acrylic paints. And these are like chunky glitter with like sh glitter shatters in it. Um, and I got the pink neon and clear hologram. And this is just like a hollow holographic and like a pink holographic. And then I got this one, which is Folk Art Extreme Glitter. I kind of want all the extreme glitter ones, but it's just a purple glitter. I'm going to take the top off so you guys can kind of see it. Okay, well, let's discard that. But 
it's just a purple glitter. I feel like the medium that it's mixed in kind of makes it hard to see how glittery it is while it's wet, but maybe I'll swatch that another time. And then these two are um, like shiny duochrome top coats. So like they have like a clear base, but they shift color. Let me see if I can find. I had a page. I... Okay. I had I had some on my fingers when I was opening them and I kind of like just put them on the thing so you see how it's kind of like it's got a little bit of a color tint but it's mostly clear but then it shifts in the light that's what it is love it so those are the paints, and honestly, I would really love to just have all of those pretty paints. Next are the coloring books. Now this one is a totally 90s coloring book by Christina Haberkern, and I am like 90% sure I have this, or I was 90% sure that I had this coloring book, but it wasn't in my inventory. So I don't know what's up with that. But my husband got me this, um, so either way I've got it now. I may have two. I'm not sure. The other one's probably in New York still, but it should still be in my, oh, look at those platforms. Should still be in my inventory, even if it's still in New York. I, it's definitely, I, that, I'm sure. I'm sure I have this. I'm like absolutely sure. But anyway, I have another one. So, um, and actually, let me show you the other one I have a duplicate of. So, this is Pop Manga Dragons and Other Magical Mythical Creatures by Camilla Derrico and I accidentally purchased a duplicate. I didn't realize I had it already. So now I have two. Uh, but that's fine. Because it's really freaking cute. Look at the dragons. Oh my god. Absolutely okay with coloring all of these pages twice. I just need to pay better attention. I feel like usually I'm pretty good at remembering. Oh my god, were those like hippo dragons? Yes. I feel like usually I'm pretty good at remembering which coloring books I have and which ones I don't have yet. Um, and... <sighs> Cute little jackalope. And even then, if I'm not like absolutely certain, I keep my inventory on my phone so I check it. But for some reason, I did not think I had this. I was like extra certain I didn't, and I didn't check my inventory for it. So now I have a duplicate. But that's fine. It's totally fine. Next is Enchanted Earth by Melpomni Melpomni Chatsipong. I there's no way I can pronounce that correctly. Um, this beautiful book is absolutely incredible and I have another book by this person that I really really love it's like circle of life or something and these pages are just look at this eyeball with the koi fish in it oh, I love that so much they're so whimsical Oh, the candles. I can't wait to do that one. It's very exciting. And I don't know what order the videos are going to be going up. I don't know if this one's going up before my April completed pages or not. But it might actually. But um, 
If it is, spoilers. If not, then you might already know. But um, in my five coloring books that I have in my rotation at any given time, I have finished many of them. And those ones were pretty much all the ones that I cared the least about and wanted to use up um, as quickly as possible. Or like finish as quickly as possible, not really use up really using it up. I'm using up the markers and stuff that I'm using. You don't use up a coloring book, right? You finish it. Anyway, I'm just figuring things out out loud. Um, I finished many of them and which is amazing because I left most of the coloring books that I didn't care that much about in New York so that I could take the ones that I liked more. And now I'm getting to the point where I have less, far less, coloring books that I don't care that much about or I would want to color in like consistently to the point of like using it up potentially quickly and not like savoring it. So <sighs> progress. It's incredible. So I really love that book. It's beautiful. And then I got two new mythographic books. I got this one by Joseph Kadambang, which is Aviary. And I keep buying these books. I like I am addicted to these books. I haven't colored in a single one, but I am just addicted to them, basically. <laughs> I'm essentially collecting them at this point because they're just so beautiful. I, I absolutely do want to color in them. It's not like I'm like it's not like I think they're too precious to color and I just haven't gotten to them. But you know, no one's gonna stop me from continuing to buy them. <laughs> Whether I color in them or not. Oh, look at the bee! Oh, amazing, amazing. Okay, Mythographic Menagerie by Fabiana Atanasio. There are so many Mythographic books that I don't have still, and I literally want them all. Oh, the jackalopes and the tea boats! Oh my god! The llama under the water. You guys, I just can't. Of <laughs> all animals. The gator. Ooh, the gator. These make me so happy. I feel like these ones, these are, are these, I'm assuming these are newer ones. These definitely feel less detailed than some of the older ones that I have. Um, maybe that's just me. Oh, the axle. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel these feel less intimidating than than past ones because past ones were like some of them were like ultra ultra detailed. Oh my gosh! You guys, I can't. I can't. It's just too cute. It's just too cute. The freaking penguins in the suits. You guys, the penguins in the suit. Those, those are puffins, aren't they? Those aren't penguins, those are puffins. They're so cute. Oh. Okay, yes. Absolutely. I am so happy with all of these. But uh, that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um... If you did, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Um, I will do another video some point in the future. I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon, but uh, at some point in the future I will swatch the watercolor palettes. But uh, that's it for now. So I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye!